Hello friends, welcome. Friends, if you look at this headline, which uh, which I saw in the morning, it says that 29 companies listed initially 3 bit for BSNL's 5G tender. So this article came on 20th January 2025. So just to zoom in a bit, you can see that 20th January 2025. Now friends, you must be aware that BSNL is preparing for their 5G launch and the first site that they have chosen and this for this particular tender is Delhi NCR region. So if you read this article, it kind of says that most people have not bid. Only three companies have bid, which is Tejas Network, Leica Wireless and Gerlal Network and rest they have not bid. And the main reason for the failure of this bid is being considered as their tender condition from a financial bid perspective because they want the bidders to share a certain revenue share mechanism on the basis of which the network is planned to be rolled out. So the bidders need to have a stake. Now friends, I am not going to get into the details of this tender. Reason is there is something more fundamental that you need to understand on which this whole initiative of 5G to be rolled out in Delhi is going to fail from the beginning it will start. And let me explain to you why. And it is fundamentally anchored around the frequency bands and the spectrum strategy MTNL or BSNL is going to deploy or use for their Delhi rollout. Now, in order to explain to you what this means, and why it is going to fail even before this whole initiative starts, I am going to throw some information before you so that you understand what is going on. Now, if you look at this tender, I was going through the tender document. And if you look at this tender, you will find that this tender is anchored around only two frequency bands. So there are a lot of information in this tender. So let me just type 900, so 900 megahertz. So if you look at this clause on page number 15, you will find that there is a clause 1.9 which says that the 5G is going to be deployed in 3.3 gigahertz band or I call it 3.5 and the 900 megahertz band. So they are looking for an SA deployment. That is what their plan is. You know, difference between SA and, uh, and NSA. NSA is non-standalone deployment. SA is a standalone deployment. In case of non-standalone deployment, what happens is that the 4G carrier is basically as an anchor carrier and 5G is, is sandwiched on top of it. So without 4G, NSA cannot be deployed. Now, if you go with SA, you don't need a 4G anchor. You can straight away go with 5G. Now, the fundamental problem is this 900 megahertz band. And let me explain by showing you the band structure of 900 megahertz in Delhi. So I'm going to use my tool, which I have written long back. This took me a lot of effort to write actually two months. It went to around 7,000 line and I later in the hindsight I could I thought because at the time I was learning coding it could have been done much more efficient now I think I'll someday I will restructure this code to make it more efficient but irrespective of the fact let's look at the band structure of Delhi so here you will find MTL MTNL currently has 900 megahertz spectrum 6.4 megahertz band and rest of the band is completely filled up with other operators Vodafone 10 megahertz Bharti 6 megahertz and then there is a empty spot of 0.8 megahertz and we have a railways. Railways might back in later, right? So even if you add these two together, it is not going to be more than 2 megahertz, right? 2 or 2.5 megahertz, right? So you have got how much spectrum? 5 megahertz only because 6.5, 6.4 is not going to be, here. it's neither here nor there. You have to fall in, in a granularity of 5 because that's the granularity on which any new technology 4G, 5G is implemented, okay? So you have, you see that you have got only 5 megahertz in Delhi with no roadmap to go beyond that, right? So that's the fundamental point. Then you look at the 700, uh, the 3.5 gigahertz band, the 3.5 gigahertz band in Delhi, if you have the BSNL or MTNL has 70 megahertz. So that is fine. You know, you have got 70 megahertz, other operators 100 megahertz, Bharti is 100 megahertz and Vodafone has 50 megahertz. So you can say that... BSNL is better off at least than Vodafone, right? If they are going to deploy 5G, right? That is what you can make out. Now, there is a problem here. Now, if Vodafone deploys 5G, I don't think that they are going to do a standalone deployment because standalone deployment with 5 megahertz of 5G does not make any sense. And let me explain why. 
if you are going to use 900 megahertz spectrum and you are going to deploy 5G 900 megahertz spectrum, then the efficiency of 5G versus 4G is not going to be significantly different. It is actually going to be at par, whether you are going to use this block of spectrum for 4G, which they are planning to deploy for 5G, or if you are going to use it for 5G, it is going to be same. The reason is that none of the advanced 5G feature like MIMO, etc. can be possible to get deployed in the 900 megahertz spectrum band with same kind of efficiency. Now, somebody may ask a question, why? The answer is very simple that the 900 megahertz band actually has got a higher wavelength. For you to deploy MIMO with a higher wavelength, it becomes very, very challenging because the antenna size becomes so big because antenna is proportional to the wavelength. Therefore, MIMO at low frequency band becomes a big, big challenge. And therefore, you cannot leverage the efficiency of limiting and segmenting the, the waves into different spatial segments so that the channel, the channel limit can be overcome, right? I, I don't want to basically use technical terms, but I'm just, you know, throwing that there is a channel capacity of a physical carrier beyond which you cannot basically have efficiency or data throughput more than the capacity which is limited by the bandwidth as well as noise and the bitrate, right? So, if you can't deploy MIMO, as I told you that 4G and 5G speeds are going to be same. So, you need at least 10 megahertz of spectrum and if possible, you need how much? 20 megahertz spectrum. Now, they may say that there is a possibility of BSNL to expand in the 700 megahertz band because the 700 megahertz band is lying empty as far as BSNL is concerned. If you see in Delhi, they have got 10 megahertz of spectrum, but you can't do that. Why you can't do that? Why you can't expand in 700? Because in order for you to deploy any technology in low frequency band or any band which are closely spaced with each other, you need to have the spectrum in the same block of spectrum. Let's say if you have 20 megahertz, you have to have in the same block of, uh, in a band of spectrum. You can't have two bands of spe spe spectrum separated out in frequency domain because the aggregation of these two block of the 700, let's say 5 megahertz of 700 and 5 megahertz of 900, if you aggregate together to create a larger block of 10 megahertz, will result in loss, network loss to the tune of 2 to 3 dB. It can be, it, it, the maximum can be 3 dB, but it can be 2 dB, which means that the 40% of the network cell coverage will shrink and you are not going to get, you will not be going to get the advantage of the low frequency band. That is why 900 megahertz band Deployment on an SA configuration for 5G is a failure from the beginning, okay? That is why, because the bandwidth is very, very slow. Your upload and download speeds are going to be at par, at max par with 4G, right? It is not going to be enough, right? The another problem with 900 megahertz band is that when you are overlapping 900 megahertz band with the 3500 megahertz band, there will be a problem because of the number of cell site which they are deploying. Now, in order to give you the sense of number of cell site a private operators have deployed, I will like to take you through this chart because the private operators do not give their data out in the public domain, but I can extrapolate it by looking at this chart which I have posted in my website. Anybody can have an access to this chart and this is a very significant chart. And because of these kind of data that I'm aggregating, my ability to analyze the subject from various angle becomes more sharper, right? And I'll tell you how you can basically do it yourself. Now look at Delhi here. Delhi, if you see, it is called row number 16. So this is how the number of 5G base stations have grown in Delhi. Now today it is around 12K, means 12,000 5G base station in Delhi. Now what does it mean? 12,000 mean was we can very clearly exclude BSNL, MTNL because they don't have 5G. You can exclude Vodafone idea, they don't have 5G. So there will be 5G, how much? 5G will be only in with Reliance Geo and Bharti. Now Reliance Geo has deployed two base station per site, right? Two base station per site because I am trying to triangulate the total number of tower, inf tower information Bharti and Reliance Geo put together has. Now if they have deployed two base station per site which is 700 and 3500 and Bharti has deployed one base station per site because they only have 3500 megahertz, the low frequency they might not have deployed. That is my understanding right now. They might have but they might not have deployed because it is a big challenge in Delhi and let me explain why it is a big challenge in Delhi 
बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट इन नाइन हंड्रेड मेगर्स भारती हैज ओनली सिक्स मेगर्स एंड इन एटीन हंड्रेड मेगर्स भारती हैज हाउ मच वेरी वेरी लो एंड आई डोंट थिंक दैट दे विल बी एबल टू डू इट डू फॉर सो ओनली सेवन मेगर्स ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रम सो दे प्रॉब्ली हैव नॉट डिप्लॉयड एंड ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड मेगर्स बैंड दे हैव ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रम विच इज फिफ्टीन मेगर्स एंड आई प्रिज्यूम दैट दे विल नॉट स्प्लिट दिस स्पेक्ट्रम इन टू टू चंग्स दे माइट बी यूजिंग दिस फुल स्पेक्ट्रम फॉर फोर जी एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड एनी वे इज फॉर फोर जी सो दे हैव डिप्लॉयड ओनली वन बेस स्टेशन वन फेक फ्रीक्वेंसी विच इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फाइव गिगर्स बैंड which i have already showed you that they have got 100 megahertz spectrum here so what does it mean it basically means that the total uh, uh, you know cumulative base station that we have in delhi which is 12k should be divided by 3 to come out with tower so 12 divided by 3 will give you 4k tower right 4k tower that we have in delhi right a tower location because uh, the the total number of uh, total number of base station is 12k now if reliance has two base station two uh, base station per site and bharti has one base station per site if you add this two together then if you are assuming that these are overlapping locations i'm just making example here overlapping location then what happens is that you divide 12 divided by 3 you will basically get 4k tower location as far as the both the operators put together is concerned but as far as bsnl is concerned you will find that their tower locations are less than 2k it is 1800 roughly and the number of towers are going to be insufficient to cater for a coverage of 3.5 gigahertz band and and 900 megahertz band put together and you will need a handset which have the capability to do carrier aggregation in order to take the benefit of both the bands so so the basic handset which does not have carrier aggregation will be latched on to only 900 mega spectrum band therefore with data throughput will be extremely extremely low and if you are going to use only the 33 or the 3500 mega band then your edge coverage of 5g is going to be very very poor and your stand alone 5g is not going to work with that kind of efficiency right you got it so though you have the anchor carrier of 900 megahertz band but that anchor carrier of 900 megahertz band because it is extremely thin 5 megahertz is not going to give you that kind of throughput and your 5g speeds even if let's say the downlink is available the 70 megahertz of downlink is available you may be able to get a very good download speed but your upload speeds if it is going to be latched on to the 900 megahertz 5 megahertz because uploads do not reach because it is depending on the handset ability to reach the base station and if you are not within the upload range of the handset then your upload throughputs are going to be very very miserable you may get 50 mbps download but your uploads are going to be very very miserable which will make your video calls dysfunctional you got it so that is the fundamental problem and just to basically uh, throw a little bit light as to why you can't really mix two different uh, frequencies uh, two different chunks of spectrum from two different frequencies which are closely spaced with each other i will show you this diagram in article which i did long back which will give you a sense so let's say that there is an antenna and there is two rf carriers which are rf uh, signals which are coming coming from two different bands which are closely spaced with each other so what happens is that when you enter when this enters the antenna system it has to be segregated out using two filters filter 1 and filter 2 you can see this let me again zoom a little bit in so there are two filters so this is the signal which is emanating right which is coming out from the from externally hits the antenna and from the antenna the signal goes like this and then it basically splits into two paths right so one path it goes to filter 1 so this band which is at let's say 700 megahertz band or let's say 800 megahertz band or 900 megahertz band let's say this comes this actually gets filtered by by this filter 1 and the second band let's say is another frequency band let's say nearby 900 megahertz band it was 800 and this is 900 or let's say this is 700 and this is 900 will get filtered by this one once you do the filtering of two different frequency uh, which are closely spaced with each other let's say 700 and 900 then what happens is that once this this diplexer this system called diplexer will result in a loss because this accurate filtering is not possible because the frequencies are very closely spaced with each other so what will happen your ability to decrypt the signal or 
this this affair the signal is going to be compromised and there will be loss and therefore the coverage of this of this two combine combined signal is going to shrink and that's why you will not be able to get the similar coverage which you will be able to get if these two blocks of spectrum were part of the same frequency band i think you probably now have got the understanding now what uh, bsnl could have done and this is what i have been repeating again and again again and again people who have been listening my to my video my god completely you can say uh, i think saturated with this thought so look at delhi in 800 megahertz band i'll bring 800 megahertz band again and again in this discussion because this is lying free so you will see in delhi it's the same quantum of spectrum is available in 800 megahertz band which is 6.25 and in 900 also which you saw mtnl has or bsnl has 6.2 and only 5 megahertz will be used now if you go to 800 megahertz band what happens is in 800 megahertz band you'll see this violet violet spots now these violet spot spectrum is occupied by who arcom right mts this is a battle in courts litigation going on now hopefully in future these blocks of spectrum are going to be released and if this is released then you, you will be able to get a growth path in the same block of spectrum and you expand your current 5 megahertz to 10 megahertz easily maybe one year two two year three year this is definitely going to get resolved now you may say that okay if this spectrum is going to get uh, going to get released and if rgo is sitting here with 800 megahertz band 10 megahertz of spectrum why won't rgo capture this block of spectrum and convert this whole thing into 20 megahertz see rgo has not done it in last two auction they have left this block of spectrum lying free it is still lying free for from for last 2 to 3 years all the auctions have happened nothing has happened why because this is a 4g band 4g is going in the downhill path it will be in the downhill path and rgo needs spectrum in the 700 megahertz spectrum band it doesn't need spectrum in the 800 megahertz band as i told you combining spectrum from two different frequency bands and aggregating them to form a larger block does not make sense so rgo today has spectrum here these are the red blocks of rgo and let's say in future defense release this particular block because you can't expect railways to release neither you can expect bsnl to release but defense or government may release this block of spectrum where this is so if there is a possibility to expand in 700 megahertz band in near future which might be a possibility then rgo will be able to create a block of 20 megahertz in 700 so what is the point in getting spectrum in 800 megahertz band where equipment is in the is the legacy equipment which is going to perpetuate for a long period of time but that is not where the focus of growth will be the growth of focus of growth will be in the 5g 700 plus 3500 plus 1800 like that so there is no point this particular block of spectrum will be available will be uh, you know taken by anybody else other than wasted lying free forever even if these violet spot spots of arcom versus an mts gets released in near future these are going to lie waste and you are going to destroy bsnl by putting bsnl in 900 megahertz band that is where my main problem is that why is waste so much amount of money and create a network which is completely unusable it does not deliver value you understand so that is even very short because when i saw this i got again very very i felt very sorry you know the government keeps on repeating the same mistake again and again again and again is not that you know there is no path to move forward it is right there in front of you nobody wants to see this and they are continuously committing the same mistake again and again and trying to create a 5g spectrum network 5g network with sa with the, there will be a brand name of sa which will be completely useless because of the reason which i have explained to you so friends hope you understand the problem that we are going to face the amount of money that is going to get wasted and there is a possibility there is a path to move forward you have got 3500 megahertz band and you have got 800 megahertz band i don't know why this band is lying waste why nobody is using this particular spectrum band why you ask me this question if you have to deploy in 5 megahertz you might as well deploy here at 5 megahertz right and wait for this particular block of spectrum to get released definitely it will get released because this is lying free it is a question of regulatory this is a question of courts to take decision and get them out because nobody is going to you know buy this block of spectrum it is finally going to fall in the government coffers in some day or the other right so thanks friend for your time i hope that you like this video and um, if you have any comments or suggestion let me know in your in the comment section and i will come back with the 
new video next time on a new topic thank you very much